Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What would be the worst message to receive from space? Don't remember where it's from, but there's a book or something where humans start getting messages from everywhere that are goodbyes from other species as the universe ends. You might be thinking of Last Contact. A short story written by Stephen Baxter, a prolific sci-fi author who has co-written books with both Arthur C. Clarke and Terry Pratchett. For those asking to read it, it can be found, as far as I can tell legally, here. The Long Earth books were pretty scary as they went on. We hope this reaches you before they do. Yikes. Would be terrifying ill but would make a great movie. Would be an awesome plot for the whole world to militarize together and everyone starts slowly realizing how stupid borders and wars are, and that we're all just humans who more or less want the same things. Like the whole ordeal just puts humanity in a fresh perspective. Then turns out the message was just some sort of error. People of Earth, your attention, please. This is Prostik Vogogelts of the Galactic Hyperspace Planning Council. As you will no doubt be aware, the plans for development of the outlying regions of the galaxy require the building of a hyperspatial express route through your star system. And regrettably, your planet is one of those scheduled for demolition. The process will take slightly less than two of your Earth minutes. Thank you. Well there's no point acting all surprised about it. The plans and demolition orders have been on display at your local planning office in Alpha Cetauri for 50 of your Earth years. If you can't be bothered to take an interest in local affairs, that's your own lookout. Apathetic bloody planet. I've no sympathy at all. Rip Douglas Adams. In his later book Dirk Gentle's Holistic Detective Agency, which involved an alien plot to escape to primordial Earth and establish a base there, the first line of the book was. This time, there would be no witnesses. Utter genius. From the Three Body Problem books, spoilers. I am a pacifist of this world. It is the luck of your civilization that I am the first to receive your message. I am warning you, do not answer. I freaking loved and was absolutely terrified to my core by those books. Yeah, that message would be terrifying on an existential level. Hell, the whole dark forest theory in general would be fairly terrifying if true. It would be also so sad. To finally know that there is someone out there, but we have to hide for our lives. Lesser message, and more of a sudden lack of information from a small, but growing, part of the sky. It starts with one star winking out. Then within a year a couple of its closest neighbors wink out. In 10 years it can barely seen by the naked eye. In 50 it's a noticeable black patch in the night sky. Something is spreading and it's getting closer and we have no way of knowing what the cause is. Edit, loving all the sci-fi closely related to this idea that y'all are suggesting for me. It's like that entity from a wrinkle in time. A neighbor once tried sending me a message by attempting to put a brick through my window, so I'd say an asteroid. Did you get the message? Your window's broken. Since that day it's kinda stuck in his head. We pick up a signal from space. It is obviously artificial, but humanity can't understand it. But Earth insects can. And they begin to respond. OK number. This is horrible. Why did I click on this thread? 100% nightmare fuel. Horrible. I'd need more details. How are they responding? If they're all acting hostile, or crawling towards the same coordinates, then yes. If they all just start doing a synchronized crap rave type dance, it's honestly just a good vibe, I wouldn't mind. A timer. Independence Day had it right. Hey boys. Imbike. One short story I read a long time ago, was that Earth received a message, it took years to decode but turns out it was a distress signal. Then suddenly Earth started receiving distress signals from everywhere. Then it just all went silent. Love to know the story. Probably this. HTTPS www.reddit.com forward slash r forward slash ask reddit forward slash comments forward slash because. Congratulations on establishing your first off-world settlement. The Intergalactic Federation will now update your sentient species identification to early expansion and remove all travel restrictions to and from your solar system. Disclaimers. The unprotected off-world experience may differ from single-planet existence.
N2S3H14 ag 3 is an addictive substance known to the outpost of SRF104 backslash 1Q to inhibit the regrowth of ocular lubricant membranes in quadrupedal isectoids. The IF is not responsible for the enslavement of any species following the post-expansion removal of interstellar travel limitations. Edit, thanks for the silver. D. This is one of the things that bothers me the most in games when you're in a starting area forward slash mode and there's no indication you're about to change that, and you can't go back afterwards. Very frustrating to only realize this type of thing after the fact. Even worse is the other way around when you suspect you cannot go back to the starting area and then after days of farming you are ready to move on and leave everything behind only to discover you can go back and forth easily. We tried our best. We are so sorry. Kinda like be quiet, or they'll hear you. Do not answer. Do not answer. Do not answer. This world has received your message. I am a pacifist of this world. It is the luck of your civilization that I am the first to receive your message. I am warning you, do not answer. Do not answer. Do not answer. There are tens of millions of stars in your direction. As long as you do not answer, this world will not be able to ascertain the source of your transmission. But if you do answer, the source will be located right away. Your planet will be invaded. Your world will be conquered. Do not answer. Do not answer. Do not answer. 59, followed by A58. You have 10. 10 what? Days. Weeks. Months. 9. The answer is quartets of questions. Thank you for reaching the year 2023, this concludes the free demo. We can just sign up again with a different email address. They're checking our IP address. We need to set up an account on the moon. A message we can't comprehend as a language except for its sheer panic and desperation. Basically, think of like a dog yelping and whining when it's in pain, we can't actually understand anything they are saying but the sentiment overall is understood. Reminds me of Event Horizon. Terrifying movie. I'm firmly in the camp that Event Horizon was the first associated IP in the expanded Warhammer 40,000 universe. Liberate 2 to met Exiferis. Something ominous like stop being so loud. They are gonna hear you. Totally. Imagine aliens trying to warn us of some ancient god from Lovecraft's horror. That is not dead which can eternal lie. That wouldn't be as bad as. You were too loud. They heard you. Followed by informative pictograms depicting painless ways to commit mass suicide before they arrive. I think it would be more terrifying than anything for them to send a message stating their desires to extract their stranded or seeded surveillance team, s, the idea that they are already here and we never knew. That we may have overlooked creatures as being of Earth origin and they aren't. Similarly I think it's just as terrifying if they say they must exterminate us for any reason but the kicker I think would be if it's massively ironic, like hey fire ads are a galactic nightmare and because you're infested with them the whole planet's got to be wiped clean. Hello. We sent you an envoy named Gizedus approximately 2000 of your orbital cycles ago. Please put us in touch with him. Two great comics explore this. In Lilo and Stitch there's a related joke, somebody argues Earth needs to be protected because of some kind of endangered species. Mosquitoes. Agent Bubbles convinces the Intergalactic Federation that mosquitoes can only be found on Earth and are endangered, and the aliens take it very seriously because they love bureaucracy. You have 30 days to move your Earth. The plans have been on display in Alpha Setori for a century. Don't worry we are already moving it but after 365 days it will be in the same position. Your earth has been impounded. Your earth has been crushed into a cube. You have 30 days to move your cube. We couldn't stop them. They're coming. We're sorry. Beware the destroyers. They come from P3X to 652. Close the iris. And lock that address out of the dialing computer. Show me what you got. Shit on the floor. Welcome to Planet Music. They're not stars. They're eyes. Fucked. I love it. I remember when I was trying to get into the SCP Foundation I read an article that described the Foundation receiving an encoded message from space. After they deciphered it it turned out to be a video of an alien suspended in the air screaming and writhing in pain. 
nothing was observed to be inflicting pain on it but it screamed at regular intervals. So something like that I guess. The SCP Foundation is really interesting. Sometimes you'll find racist windows, sometimes lizards with anger issues, and sometimes stuff like this. Hello giant lizard birds. By the time this message has reached you we expect and or hope an intelligent peoples have risen on your planet. We send this first and final message to announce that you are the only ones left. Be careful as the sole caretakers of the galactic garden you now inherit, do better. I'd take comfort in the fact that this just as easily sounds like something an alien with a sense of humor would say to fuck with a comparatively primitive species while a bright and blooming intergalactic civilization continues behind them just fine. Greetings Earthlings, do not be afraid. I am Shvereth, the true creator of your people, your planet, and your universe. Many of your religions have pleased me, but I have come to command you to bro stop hogging the transmitter dad said I get a turn to mess with the primitive aliens wait your turn dork. But dad said I'm nearly done fine sorry anyway, earthlings, I command you to put your fingers up your butt, all who heed the word of Shva. Sferu. Shvereth right. Shall be spared the rapture. <laughs>